Okay, after two failed marriages, how can a person stay positive in the word of Christ and not let it affect the future? Okay, after two failed marriages, how can a person stay positive in the word of Christ and not let it affect their future? Here's what I'll say to that. Like, this is coming from somebody that's hurting, that feels like they're washed up, that they're used, that they're thrown away. Okay, I'll just, moment of honesty. I've had a failed marriage. Now that shocks a lot of people. Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you. I, yeah, I was married before. I was married before, before Kinsey. And it's a hard, it was messed up whenever I was like 18. Uh, you know what? That didn't define me. I've, I've screwed up so much stuff. Again, I'm going to go back to, we have a real enemy. And he's the accuser of our lives. You always have this constant enemy that's whispering in your ear, you're not good enough. You will never be good enough. Your past marks you and defines you. That's not true. It's simply not true. You know what? Other people love to speak this into your life as well. You have got to learn how to fight in the supernatural. I've known that I'm born again. I've been washed. I've been cleansed. I've been redeemed by the blood of Christ. His name is forever etched on my heart. He, I find my identity in Christ and Christ alone. He holds my future. My past did not happen to me without it passing through his hand. He has brought me through a spot to bring me here to this point to go out and make a difference because here's the, one of the biggest tricks of the enemy is that you're alone in your pain. You're alone in your sin. You're alone in your past. Can I tell you, you are not alone. There are people that's hurting. There are people that's experienced divorce, that have experienced abuse, has experienced the pain of abortion, have experienced abandonment. You are not alone in your pain. And that's the, one of the largest tricks of the enemy is to get us to feel like we're the only ones going through this. Listen, I, I'm the chiefest of all sinners. Like, you're not alone. And there's so many times to where I, it's, and it's hard. Listen, it's hard to stay positive. There's so many times in my life where I just, man, I would spend days, I'd just go into a depression, real, a legitimate depression, where I felt like there was no hope, that God was done with me, my best days were behind me. Listen, this is why it's so vital. We do, we only do a few things around here. We do four, actually. We do the weekend experiences, what you're in. We do the dream team, which is serving on team. We do the growth track which is discovering God's purpose for your life and, and how you can fit in the local church. And we do small groups, which just kicked off today. And you can get involved. Let me tell you something. It's in your small, you got to get plugged into a positive community. Because all these voices are going to start, they're not going to ease up on your head. Like you've got to have people that you can do life with, that you can get a little bit vulnerable with. That you get to say, hey, here's, here's what's going on in my life. Here's what I'm struggling with. And you've got to be in a community of people that will not condemn you, but that will be a positive voice in your life, uplifting voice, and will help you out on your journey. That's why small groups, do not do life alone. It's isolation. Isolation leads to condemnation, and that's all from the enemy. It's not from God. And so do not get tr tricked by the enemy and thinking that your, your, your best days are behind you. I know it's hard to stay positive. You have got to change your environment, though. You have got to do that. We can only provide the avenues and the opportunities, but you have got to get up every day and make a choice. Today is the day that l the Lord has made. I am going to choose to rejoice and have joy and be glad in it. I'm going to choose... Make a conscious decision to put positive influences in my life and cut out the negative ones. You have to make that decision. I can't make it for you. I can encourage you in it, but I can't make it for you. You have to do that on your own. I hope that we can get through some more here. Next question. I hope that answered your question.